Hi, I'm Yolanda. I work on protein folding. This is my third ASBNB meeting. Thanks. I'm Leah. I'm from State University. I'm a third year grad student and I haven't been to a conference yet. This is my first. That's Troy. He runs the career development sessions. He's great at this. He'll make sure everyone feels comfortable. Hi everyone, I'm Troy from the ASBMB. In today's career development session, we're gonna cover elevator pitches, introductions, and netiquette. We'll start with elevator pitches. Elevator pitches are used to deliver your personal self-marketing campaign succinctly, such as in the span of an elevator ride. It should be ready should you meet a potential employer or contact. The pitch should include a short synopsis of your background, experience, and interests. It should not include any jargon or lingo, as not everyone will be familiar with your research topic. You can use your pitch anywhere, in an interview when someone asks, tell me about yourself, or at a career fair, or just when you want to introduce yourself to someone. Sometimes, I just jump into conversations by asking the person what they thought of the session we just listened to, or even what they think about the weather, or town, or conference we're attending together. So have fun, and smile. Well, um, I'm Leah. I work at State University on cell signaling. I had an awesome research experience in undergrad where I caught the research bug learning about what could turn normal cells into cancer. My aunt, with whom I'm close, survived breast cancer. I, I loved the work so much I decided to go to grad school and join the lab of Dr. Smith at State. We study breast cancer signaling pathways. I am studying the roles of individual proteins and receptors in the process by which tumors develop. It's very exciting work. I think I would like to continue my career in industry after grad school, so I'm hoping to learn more about different career paths in this meeting. Great elevator speech, Leah. You sound very enthusiastic about your work and could succinctly relate it to any audience. Oh wow, this is so easy. Yeah, you've been networking all along. You just didn't realize it. If you have been successful pitching yourself, you'll have someone say, interesting, tell me more. So let's move on to introductions now. Leah, can you help me? Can you think of a situation where you might want to introduce someone? Okay, um, what about when I want to introduce my colleague to someone? I'm afraid I'll be standing at my poster talking to someone and my PI will come up and I won't know how to introduce everyone. Great example. Here, let's try something. You can introduce me to that stranger over there. Uh, wait, what should I say? Just go over to him and ask him how he's been enjoying his time at the conference or if he'll be presenting. And then when he's finished answering, you can introduce me. To introduce someone, you should include the person's name and where they're from. And then you can add something interesting or something that will get him into the conversation. Hi, uh, what do you think about these ASVMB career development sessions? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I guess. This is my first session, so I'm still checking it out. It's my first session too, but I met this really cool colleague. His name is Troy and he works for the ASVMB. I bet he could tell you about some of the other sessions at the meeting. Thanks, Leia. We are doing some really fun ones after this. Let me tell you about a couple. This is all amazing, but what do I do when I go back home? Are there any tricks to stay in contact with people, like an industry scientist whose career I would like to learn more about? We call that netiquette, which is our next topic. Everyone, let's finish up this session discussing netiquette. It's important to follow proper social etiquette in your follow-up emails or phone calls. The trick is to exchange business cards during your conversation. It makes following up that much easier. I like to jot a note on the back of the card to remind myself what we discussed and any topics I want to follow up about. There are also apps that allow you to scan business cards into your phone's contact database and schedule reminders to email them when you get home. In your follow-up email, give your new contact a brief reminder of what you discussed. Remember to use your elevator pitch. And then thank them for taking the time to speak with you. To continue the conversation, bring up a new idea or ask a question. You can also request an informational interview to learn more about the contact's career. Then ask them if they'd be available to discuss your request in person or over the phone. Make sure you are respectful of their time. You might write, if you'd be willing to speak with me, please suggest a few dates and times that work for you. Thank you in advance. Remember, while you may make your own schedule, not everyone has that luxury. Also, make sure you use formal courtesy titles like Dr. Smith or Ms. Grant. If you would like to send them your CV or resume, make sure it is attached and note this in your email. Those are great tips. I have to go meet a colleague soon, but can I get your business card in case I have more questions? Sure. You can also find me on LinkedIn. Just write in the message section that we met at this session to help me remember you. Great. It was so nice meeting all of you. I will see you at the other sessions. Thanks.